APS, along with many schools in Michigan, have been dealing with the achievement gap for the past couple of years, and APS is working to close that gap. Schools are broken up into the top 30% of students and the bottom 30% of students, and the gap that is factored between them is known as the achievement gap. Our advanced placement students, which tend to be our top kids, have been doing exceptionally well. Uh, the last probably five years, they've continued to grow and grow and grow on their scores, which have been great. Um, they've been able to earn a lot of credits, do a lot of different things. Well, that factors into that piece of it, and then when you also have students struggling at the bottom, that it's it's difficult to move them forward. What happens is you kind of elongate this. It's a it's a problem in probably every classroom at the high school. Teachers within APS have been meeting regularly to discuss the achievement gap and figure out a way to reach all students when creating lesson plans in order to close the gap. One of the challenges is figuring out how to motivate those who are struggling without holding back the high achievers. Where do you set the bar, first of all, when you're planning your lessons? You know, how challenging do you want to design the lesson? And then how do you keep all students engaged at every level? There are several factors that play into why we have the achievement gap between students, including staffing, funding, and the big issue of resources. What do you have if the student's struggling? If they have, you know, if things are difficult at home, outside counseling, I mean, all those things that we tend to just, as a society, say, well, they'll figure that out, the teens. But their lives really right now are a lot different than ours. You know, Michigan's slowly creeping out of a really, really tough time. Um, we survived that, but for a lot of our kids, they were growing up in a time where it was tough at home. Uh, so it's a matter of what do you do for outside resources to be able to get those folks in. Principal Poli says having enough resources and knowing how to use your resources is a huge step in helping to bridge the gap. There's always going to be a gap. It's a matter of how much you're moving your kids forward. I never want to see our top kids struggle. I want them to go, go, go. Give them the resources they need to take off and run with it. But at the same time, our bottom students, let's make sure those resources are there so we can get them moving forward. Tomorrow, I'll be continuing to look at the achievement gap in our education system and let you know some of the new teaching methods that APS is currently using.